And Acts chapter 1 verse 8, the Bible says, But as you, you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and it shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Please help me turn to your neighbor and ask your neighbor, what is your relationship with the Holy Spirit? I've come to encourage you. If there's anything you have to cultivate intentionally, it is your relationship with the Holy Spirit. Jesus did his own and left. God the Father has always been doing his own. But this was the birthing of the church, as it were. It was Paul that was speaking and he says, Do not grieve the Spirit of God, which is your seal unto redemption. It's a seal. The Bible says, Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. It has not entered the hearts of men. What God has prepared for those that love him. But the Bible didn't stop there. The Bible went on to say, But he has revealed it to us by the Spirit. Every Christian that has a poor relationship with the Holy Spirit has a poor walk with God. Uh, the Bible goes on to say, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. What is your relationship with the Holy Spirit? Are you intentional? Are you very, very intentional? I'm speaking to particularly those that just graduated from the discipleship class. You were not discipled to become any other thing but one who the Spirit of God has a free flow in his life. Because Jesus came to model to us what it means to be led by the Spirit. The Bible says, when the Jews came to ask him, why, who gave you the right to do what you're doing? And he said, as I see my father do, so do I do. Oh, to your philosophers, I began to write unto you, according to all that Jesus began to do and to teach. And how Jesus of Nazareth was anointed with the Holy Ghost and with power. And John said, I did not know who he was. But the one that sent me told me, that upon the one the spirit shall descend on and remain upon, he is the one. In other words, everything that Jesus did, he did under the power of the Holy Spirit. Don't try to be like Jesus without the Holy Spirit. Don't try to reflect the power and the personality of Jesus without a deep walk with the Holy Spirit. You may have graduated from the studies of the discipleship class and whatever you did, but let me tell you that there is only one person that keeps teaching you again and again. And Jesus speaking to himself, he said, when I go, the comforter shall come and he shall lead you into all truth. He said, there are some things I want to teach you right now which you cannot handle, but when I go, the Holy Ghost will come and he will lead you into all truth. And one of the apostles writing, he said, it should be John, he says, it says you do not have need that I teach you anything for you have an anointing from the Holy One and you know all things what is your relationship with the Holy Spirit how do you relate with him are you still calling him something told me or you have come to the place of realizing his voice realizing his promptings realizing his dynamics the son died for you but the Holy Spirit is the only one that can lead you through this life into eternity you may not realize what it means when the scripture says that he is our seal if you understand ancient means of communication when a message has been sent by a scroll the scroll is normally round and they come at the edge of that scroll because right now we still use seals in legal legal businesses and they come at the edge of the scroll and they place the seal. It is that seal that guarantees that the message is authentic. It is that seal that reflects who the message is coming from. The Bible says the king gave Mordecai and Esther his seal and said, write your own law and cancel the thing that Haman had written. And with the seal of the king, they placed on the message that sent and sent messengers to go and deliver the messages. And so when the Bible says that you are the one, you, are the, you have been bought by the blood of Jesus, but you have been sealed by the Holy Ghost. He's simply saying, listen, if the Holy Ghost is not in your life, you cannot be an authentic messenger of God. You cannot reflect, you cannot pass across what God represents. Moreover, a message can only be delivered when the seal is intact. He's our seal unto redemption. More like saying, when Jesus is coming back, he will not come back to rapture those. I'm afraid to say this. Only those that are led by the Spirit will be sensitive to the fact that Jesus is about to come back. Paul was writing, he says, we do not know when he will come, but he said, this is for those in the dark. He said, but you are not in the dark. He said, you are in the light. There shall be a sound of a trumpet. Brethren, it will not be a physical sound. It's a sound of the Spirit. And when that sound rings, only those in the Spirit will hear that sound. 